Hoods up, this time in Norfolk, where hundreds of people line the streets in hooded sweatshirts to show support for a Florida teenager killed by a neighborhood watch captain last month. The rally was one of many held across the country today. Ten on your sides and McNamara spoke with local supporters. And Katie, the hooded sweatshirt is all about perception. Some prote protesters associate it with a certain stereotype. Others say the hoodie is universal, worn by everyone. But now it's become synonymous with one teenager and his story. We're here because we're angry. We're here because we're scared. No justice, no peace. That was the chant on Granby Street where hundreds gathered in hooded sweatshirts to show support for a Florida teenager they never knew. Seventeen-year-old Trayvon Martin shot and killed by a neighborhood watch captain who says he felt threatened by the unarmed teen. Police say Trayvon was carrying a bag of Skittles and an iced tea on his walk home. Because your son is black, because he had on a hood, because he was walking to get Skittles to come back and watch the game, his life can be taken. Like this family and these other families, they never can talk to their son again. Like, you know, this is real. This is real. Just to look at it, I can't help but not see my little nephew Razan, my little nephew Ramon, um, my nephew Justin. My son is a 19-year-old African-American male who could easily have a hoodie on going to the store on a rainy day. Many who march say they believe Trayvon was a victim of racial profiling. They fear their children will be too. I know, I'm afraid. Sabrina's son is gone. <laughs> Sabrina's son is no more. My son is still here. I like to keep it that way. It doesn't matter that he's black or that he's white, you know. Could have been green or purple for all I care, you know. The fact of the matter is, is that a 17-year-old boy was killed and the guy who killed him is sitting on his couch watching himself on TV right now. The goal of this rally... <laughs> to be loud enough for their message to reach all the way to Florida. They want to see police do a thorough investigation to find out what really happened. How can you deny that this was a murder? I, I, I just don't get it. George Zimmerman, the man who admits to shooting Trayvon Martin, has not been charged. He says he acted in self-defense. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. Was it